Okay, I think we can uh, get started. I will make this brief, not to keep you away from all of the amazing content that we have. So hi everyone and welcome to Dapper Day 2024. My name is Yaron Schneider. Uh, I'm based out of Seattle, Washington. Um, I am a Dapper core runtime maintainer, uh, maintainer of several other repositories, a steering committee member of the project and uh, one of the original co-creators of Dapper. It's great to have you here today. We have a great day planned out, so much amazing content from customer case studies to how to run Dapper in production. Um, really, you're gonna find pretty much everything you're looking for. And then also remember, we have a really awesome community that's ready to answer all of your questions on Discord. So feel free to join the community afterwards. Um, let's talk a little bit about some numbers. So Dapper is growing massively uh, in the last few years, especially um, you know after joining CNCF as an incubating project uh, in September of 2021, I think it was. Um, Mark and Cecil, you can keep me honest on that. We've been seeing the project really grow in terms of contributors. So for example, we have over 3,200 individual uh, contributors to the Dapper project from over 400 individual companies. I think it's over 500 now, actually. Um, this is amazing. It just goes to show how many application developers uh, need this, uh, these sort of consistent APIs that allow them to write code reliably and securely um, on top of platforms that are getting more complex over time. Um, we have over 7,000 members in our Discord community, which is also mind-blowing. It's very active. If you have any Dapper question, just go in there. Someone will probably uh, answer your question in less than 48 hours, and us maintainers are also in, on the Discord channel, so we will be happy to take your questions there. And uh, we have thousands of end users today. You can view some of the case studies on the uh, CNCF website and also on Dapper.io. We are working on more case studies. So my personal ask from you is if you're a Dapper user, um, there is nothing that helps you know, push Dapper more um, than a great case study that shows how Dapper solves your problem. We've had 12 Dapper releases since Dapper hit 1.0, which marked its uh, production readiness release. And yeah, uh, we're going strong on adding more and more features into the project, working with our community and our steering committee um, to make sure that Dapper continues to solve developer challenges today. So what have we been doing recently? Um, we've been focused a lot on a few major areas of the project, one of them being security. Um, we've recently released a security audit. Um, the Dapper went. You can also find it on the Dapper docs. Um, if you search for the security audit, this is uh, very important um, to establish uh, the fact that Dapper really ticks all the boxes when it comes to enterprise level and enterprise grade security running in uh, highly regulated environments. And we are making more progress on uh, making sure that Dapper is not only secure itself, but that it has security primitives for you to be able to secure your applications. Um, we have been hard at work making more components stable, especially at um, on AWS and, and GCP for the past year. We've been focused on making more API stable, improving the developer experience. Um, if you haven't checked out Dapper multi-app run, go check it out. It's a really easy way to run multiple Dapper applications locally without needing to resort to external tools like Docker Compose that might have some issues with networking. We've invested a lot in documentation, samples, and quick starts. Yes, we hear you, it can always be better. The best thing you can do is open up an issue or a PR for content that you think is missing and um, update you know, the Dapper documentations or samples or quick starts, because that's really important. You know, The problem that you're running into today, um, it would be great if we all made sure that a developer coming into it tomorrow doesn't have to um, ask the same question. And the most important thing for Dapper is really to continue solving new challenges and this is really around making sure that Dapper um, really is kept up to date with the times and adds more and more APIs that solve current uh, developer challenges. One of those examples is workflows. Workflow is an exciting uh, new programming model based on top of actors to run durable executions of your code. So you can process an order and tell it to sleep for 10 days and then do some other processing and let that off sleep, uh, let that sleep off for a year um, and then pick up from there. And if anything crashes, it should pick up its state. So this new programming model is very promising. It's already in beta and we are looking to make it stable in this year. So within 2024, probably Q3 or Q4. And where else is the project doing and what else is it, is, uh, where else is it going? So since you have graduation, we've talked a little bit about this in the very beginning before the keynote started. 
Um, Dapper joined as an incubating project. We skipped Sandbox and we are uh, going to be graduating this year, hopefully. Uh, we've submitted the graduation. One of the best things about graduation is that once we become a graduate project in the CNCF store, you can actually get Dapper hoodies, which is extremely important. So today we have t-shirts. I think graduated projects get hoodies. But, you know, of course, more than that, um, seriously, it puts Dapper, you know, on the same line of uh, projects like Kubernetes, uh, OpenTelemetry, and, and a bunch of other technologies that really um, shaped and continue to shape the world. We are really bent on improving actors, making workflows um, stable, and to make workflows stable, we need to make actors more stable. So we've heard from the community that they want to see better support for large-scale usage of actors. We are working hard on that. The upcoming 113 release should have a lot of performance improvements for actors, so please go check that out. And of course, tackling long-standing community ask, like delayed PubSub, the ability to publish a message and say, hey, I want you to publish this message in five days and seven hours from now, and also have native uh, actor support for PubSub so that you can ingest a PubSub event and then spin up an actor instead of you needing to write boilerplate code that does this. So essentially giving actors inbox. And one of the things that we've heard a lot and continue to hear a lot from users is that querying state stores is an incredibly important capability. And so we will be working on that during 2024 um, with all of our steering committee members. Uh, we will come up with a design um, that is going to be out in the open to get feedback from the community to make sure that the Dapper Key Value API, which is really good for saving and getting state, also allows for more complex use cases like actually you know, querying the database without you needing to resort to a dedicated SDK for that. A new cron API is coming up, also um, going to be the underlying implementation for uh, the workflow and actor reminders. But that cron API will also be a building block on its own that allows users to schedule um, distributed cron jobs in a stateful way. And you will be able to do that at scale. Um, so this is a, a pretty nice one single API call to be able to really create massively distributed uh, reminders across clusters. And my final ask for you today is really to get involved with the project. Open an issue on GitHub. Talk to us on Discord. Um, talk to maintainers. Talk to you know other contributors. Give feedback on PRs. All those things are really really important. And if you're running into an issue, please open you know a bug on the GitHub repository. Whatever GitHub repository is relevant to your issue, whether it's the SDK, the runtime. Components Contrib, which is where we keep all of the code that lets Dapper interact with the underlying cloud infrastructure, whether it's the CLI or the documentation quick starts or samples. Um, I, again, I cannot emphasize how important this is to get community feedback because this is our only way to make the project better. Um, so, you know, long standing asks, bugs, anything you need fixing um, on GitHub and on Discord. So I'm not going to keep you up uh, any much longer from this amazing content that we have. Thank you so much for joining. And back to you, Mark and Cecil. Hey, thank you so much, Jeroen. You know, Jeroen said a lot of amazing things, right? Like the community is important. He mentioned, you know, some of the great things that are happening in Dapper. But I think one of the most important things that I heard him say was hoodies. So Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think hoodies are very remember. important. I definitely agree with him. <laughs> um, so again, thank you, Jerome, for coming on. And also thank all of you that are here that are still joining us for Dapper Day 2024. Um, I mentioned earlier for folks to let us know exactly where they're calling from. And as I'm looking through the chat, I see we have a lot of folks calling in from Germany and there's Colombia, folks from all around the United States, New York, there's Madrid, there's Mexico City, there's Lisbon. Again, I just want to call out and make sure that, you know, we give you guys some acknowledgement because Dapper Day would not happen without you. Um, really appreciate it. Now, as we're going through the slides, I forgot a slide. I did not cover this slide and I didn't, I don't want Mark to get mad at me. So <laughs> I want you all to know, right, if you, if you'd love to support, continue to support Dapper, you know, we'd love for you to guys to grab one of these community support badges. So go ahead and take out, you know, your phones, your cameras, whatever the case is. And then you could, you know, snap that really quickly and, uh, you know, you can get a really cool badge, right? I mean, it, it, it's not a hoodie, but uh, this is the best thing we can do now. But once we graduated projects, then we can have hoodies. So. It is not a hoodie, but you know what? It's, it'll, it'll, it'll make do for now. I won't, I won't complain too much about it. 
I won't complain too much about it. <laughs> All right, so let's let's uh, let's keep the show rolling. So, uh, so Mark, do you want to talk a little bit about? Um, well, before yeah, we do yeah. that, actually, like, so okay. we do have these CNCF use cases. Um, I know this is one of the things that you know was mentioned a little bit earlier. If you head over to the cncf.io slash project slash Dapper website, you can see that link there on the bottom of the screen. You can go and check out some of the amazing use cases from you know wider ranges of customers that are using Dapper. Because um, the question is always, well, what can Dapper do? How are people using it in production? Like, what are some of the benefits they're seeing, and how have they made you know building you know microservice type applications, distributed systems type applications, a little bit easier? So make sure you head over to the website and check it out. And like your own also mentioned, here is the proposal on GitHub for the you know CNCF graduation. Mark, do you want to chat about this part real quick? Uh, well, very briefly, I also put the uh, link of both the um, Dapper case studies and these um, graduation proposals in the chat. So feel free to to have a look there. Uh, and yeah, if you could give this graduation proposal a thumbs up, we'll be very, very happy with that. Because yeah, we all would like to see the Dapper graduate, of course, and the final CNCF stage. Because we all want the hoodies. So yeah, that's like the call to action today. Um, give this one a thumbs up, please. <laughs> 